In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix ID3 tags using MediaMonkey. Um, so, so first of all, here's, here's a situation where the ID3 tags are correct. So you can see uh, this album here. The, the song title is there. The artist appears in the artist column, the album that it's from, the genre, um, and, and here's the actual file names along here. Um, so that's, that's when everything's going well. Um, and these files, because they've been tagged correctly, um, because the tags are inside the file, even when you import them into another media player, um, say iTunes, it will still recognize um, the correct artist and the correct uh, track title um, because because everything's working with, with this album. Um, so here I'll just look at one where it's not working so well. Um, this, this is an album that has ripped without any ID3 tags at all. So the player cannot recognize the title or the artist or the album. Um, and if you import these into iTunes, then you're just going to get, um, you're just going to get the file name appearing as the, the track title and it's, it's just going to be disorganized and a mess. Um, so, so this is how you fix it. This is how you add the tags to the files. So once, once I've done this with MediaMonkey, I can import them into any other player and it will recognize them because it's, it's editing the actual file. Um, so in this case, what, what have we got? We've got, um, we've just got the artist name as the folder name. Um, and, and we've got no, no other information in the, in the track titles. So I'm going to choose Tools, Auto Tag from Web. Um, and this is going to go online and find all the information about each track, the title, um, the artist and whatnot, and, and add it into the track. Um, now, in this case, I know that this album is called The Witching Hour. Um, I, I didn't know that. I, I found it out by playing one of the songs, um, listening to some of the words, typing some of the words into Google, um, and then that told me what the track title was, and then I went onto Wikipedia Lady for Ladytron for the artist, and then I found out which album had those that track in it. So that's how I found out what what the album the album title was. Um, so so I know that it's Ladytron, the Witching Hour. Um, press search, and there it's found. Uh, it's found the album art. And it's found all the track information, and I can just click auto tag. There we go. Um, really simple. All you need to do, the hardest part really, the bit that took the longest was finding out what the album name was. But you know, often you're going to rip an album, and if it doesn't rip with the with the ID3 tags, you know, you you know you know what the album is called. Um, so that's how you do that one. Um, Here's another scenario that we've got. Um, it's a bit different. We've got the we've got the track number and the the track title as the file name, and we've also got look at this folder structure. We've got the artist um, as the this folder, and then within that we've got the album title. So we've kind of got all the information that we need already. We don't need to go. Um, we don't need to go online for this because we've got all the information already. Um, so in, in this situation, I can click um, auto tag and file name. And I just need to choose the situation that I have. So I've got um, I've got the artist as the main folder and then the album title next within that as a folder. So the slashes tell you it's a folder, um, the track number and then the track title. So if I choose that, there we go. We've, this is all correct. We've got the artist correct, the album name correct, and the uh, track titles correct. Um, so again, just click OK, and perfect. They've all been tagged correctly. And the the final situation that I'm going to look at is this is kind of the worst case scenario. Well, maybe not quite, but it's pretty bad. It's this is just a mess. This is just a list of kind of random tracks from different artists. They're not tagged. Um, and this is kind of a mess. And and but there are various ways that you could end up with this kind of this kind of situation where you've you've just got all these random files and then they're, they're not tagged. Um, so I'm gonna show you kind of how to make the best out of this situation because I mean I, I've I've only got a few files here, but you could have, you know, you could have dozens and dozens of files in this situation. Um, so what have we got? Okay, first of all, we've got um, we've got a couple of files here which have 
which have dashes in them. So you've got the artist name and then a dash and then the track title. So that's that's pretty good because Media Monkey can recognize this naming format. So it's already put the artist in here. Um, even though it's it it you know it hasn't been tagged, none of these have tags. Um, but it's just just by having that dash there, it's recognized that that's the artist and that's the track title, and it's put it in there. Um, this one, this one you can see, it's the the artist name has a dash in it already, um, and so it's but the artist is Defaz, um, but it, Media Monkey has interpreted that to mean that um, it's it's interpreted that as as the space between the artist and the track name, so it's put just D as as the artist. Um, so what what can you what can you do with this? You can go to um, auto tag and file name because you do have some useful information in the file uh, in the file name. Um, and just go to this artist title. Um, so you could auto tag them this way because what you get is um, on the ones where there's no dash, say this Dido one, you're going to get the artist name and the track name inside the artist tag. So this would appear in iTunes as that that whole thing there would be the artist. So you could do that. That wouldn't be terrible because then at least the artist is coming up first and it's organized in alphabetical order. So it still would, they you know, all the Dido ones still would appear together even though they've got Dido and then the various the various um, track names afterwards. So you could do that. You could, uh, you could, you know, it's, it, it's not great, but it's, it's, it's okay. That's one option. Um, another, another option is, is that you could manually add the dashes. So just say, if I go in here, um, if I just go into Explorer, then I could just click on that and click press F2 and, and just go in there and add the dash and just go in there again, press F2. Um, and go and add the dash. So if you don't have too many files, and you can see how I did that fairly quickly, if you just use the F2, then it, it doesn't take too long. Um, so that's that's something that you can that you can do with this messy messy sort of situation. So hopefully you can see from that that tagging with Media Monkey is it's quite clever. There's you know there's there's a number of um, there's a number of quite clever ways to to tag your files. Um, and it still might take quite a long time if you've got a lot of music, but it's well worth it. Um, it's well worth it for a, a well well organized iTunes playlist. Um, and Media Monkey is is on our disc.